A good evening, ladies and gents. This is the Nerdist Human, and welcome back to our India campaign of Rome Total Wars Alexander, where, of course, King Poris has Bactria under siege. The Persians last time had a few defeats against us, and we managed to take Banu, although we did lose um, the General Amy in the taking of that. We'll forget about that, though, because we've got some allies here today, ladies and gents. This is beautiful. Dahai is also our ally, and thus we are going to head in and let them do a lot of their heavy lifting. They haven't got themselves any siege equipment yet, which means we can build up ours and steal the city off them. They were actually besieging it first, but it's whoever actually starts the attack who will get it. Now, we do have ourselves a few rebels over here to take care of, so I'm just going to plod over here, grab some cavalry, and take care of these lads. To be honest, they're not the most impressive force in the world. Some of the, uh, yes, hyper Ukrainian cavalry which um, I will just keep on renaming as I see fit. And I think we'll have a nice little warm-up battle with some chariots, some elephants, to start us off here today. Well, for some reason, the rebels are charging straight into the chariots, which is interesting. I think they have javelins, but um, I'm not sure it's going to help them when they get cut up by the chariots. Oh, lovely chariots, just pull yourselves out of there. The early poke is always good fun. Send the chariots back over there. There goes the general. That uh, will likely end this battle quite quickly, which is good news indeed. The elephants are coming in. There's routes. <laughs> routes everywhere already. Oh, dear. It's pretty much all over at, as it begins. We might actually lose an elephant if we're not careful because we do have a few javelins coming in at us but it's pretty much now just the elephants against these two units. Yes, I think it pretty much is. So um, <laughs> we can see what two, two units there, just some elephants and chariots can do if you use them well. We're actually shooting them here as we charge them down but we probably could be doing that a little bit more effectively. Right, let's send the chariots back in to mop up those guys. The cav will be doing that work. These are some of my light cavalry. Elephants continue to charge, but um, apparently they're not really any quicker than these peltas, so a little bit of chasing, but pretty much the battle already won. Well, it turns out they actually do want to fight the elephants, which is awfully convenient for us because we get to watch them go flying. That's lovely news. We actually have lost one of our elephants, I think. Have we? Yes, there is one dead elephant, but it's not the general. This guy's slightly more competent than Amy, it turns out. And I think at this point, yeah, we've got the High Cranian Cavalry who are back into battle, but I um, I don't suspect they're going to be able to do much. They've already routed once. I think they are going to give up. I think we'll just stick with Dionysus for this lad then. Well done, my good sir. Well done. And with that, the Rebels have been put down nice and early. Good news indeed. A nice bit of early practice for him. Good command and Eastern Turncoat. Very nice indeed. Not a Rebel Turncoat, I notice, but that very much works for me. I suspect that only counts for the Persians. I don't know what we count as. I guess, are we Eastern? Um, probably not, because we are probably the Egyptian culture rather than the Eastern culture. So that would probably be for, um, yes, Parthia, Armenia, etc. Okay, so we'll head back to the city here. Now... It would be nice to get some troops because I wouldn't mind trying to poke them down in Pura in the south. But you know what, for now, time to end our turn, get the siege equipment built. A fairly uneventful end turn, but we do have ourselves some Indian female archers coming through. And I can't help but notice that the description here says that they are ready to lie down their lives for the wise and merciful pharaoh. Yes, there are some um, very lazy bits of script when it comes to... Uh, the Alexander campaign and even on the remaster where they could have like put in during properly and actually made this what it should have been they still didn't even bother then which is a little bit sad if I'm honest so um yes let's just uh put that sorry message away but on the more exciting side we can indeed head into Bactria now we're gonna head over to Pura which should be oh yeah although hard to get into apparently no point of wasting our life here but 60 year old he might actually die soon they might just that might actually be a good opportunity for us if we had any money. Um, they've just sacked Bactria, haven't they? So we won't get enough from that, sadly. Okay, we have another army over hither. They've clearly already been under attack at least once. There is the town over here. Is that Comona? Am I making that up, Molten? Where's Comona? I don't know. I am. Uh, can't remember my map right now, but hey-ho, there we are. So there's Kata there. So yeah, a few empty-ish towns along here, but we need to be careful because there are reinforcements at Molten, although they can't get through this mountain range, of course, and I haven't opened this up, so let's not worry about that. Let's instead head into the city of Bactria. 
We should be in a good position here. These guys are still around, hiding in the trees. They're the lads who survived the last battle. No traits, no retinue. The world's most boring man. This lad, though, yeah, pretty dull, 49 years old, but he'll um, hopefully do a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Let's hit him. Oh, magnificent. Our allies have actually built their own siege equipment, so I don't need to do anything at all. I thought I might need to, at the very least, send some of my rams around to open gates for them, but no. No, no, no. They're going to do this themselves, so this should be fun. We'll let these guys come in and get themselves burnt to a crisp. Hopefully, I know they're my allies, but they're quite a lot of scary armies, and I can't help but think they'll be wanting this town after I have it. Um, uh, why are we getting shot, by the way? These... Uh, these three chariots are supposed to be heading around the outside here to go and take uh, care of these reinforcements. So that's what they are currently doing, hence they're being shot. These guys... <laughs> yes, the reinforcements might take care of themselves, actually, because they seem to be trying to get through the entrance that's been currently attacked by uh, the Dahe. So... Hmm... The cowardly enemy have lost the walls. Yeah... I suspect they probably a bit distracted by us over there, but they're not doing anything about us. I say they're not doing anything. I should probably make sure. No, it looks like none of them are advancing, so that's good news indeed. Are my allies going to do anything particularly clever? I'm not sure they are overly clever here. Just a standard full frontal assault. You know what? They don't need to do much more than that. No need to really get around the back shooting archers, but there are some good archer spots on the side walls here to shoot them in the back. It's quite a nice spot to be attacking, actually. Right, so what do we have then? We have ourselves a barbarian spearmen taking on the Persian infantry. So ooh, plenty of javelins coming down onto their archers. Hopefully, as I say, our allies will lose plenty of their men in the process, but we'll see how it goes. I can't help but notice that their general is being chased down by ours, or our allies anyway. This um, well, only in badly for the uh, for the Persians, to be honest. That general was pretty badly hurt from last time. At least this time this general can do something useful, because last time he um, killed all of, what, one man? And we very much left that lad on a platter for him. So there he goes, chopped down. Oh, they've let him get through. Yes, fleeing like a rotten child. I didn't quite hear the phrase there. So we'll just follow just follow him and see what happens to our good friend here. Is he going to get shot down? Anyone want to kill him? He's right there. No, he's just going to have a little bit of a... He's going to take the mick of them as he runs right through the barbarians. Are they going to do anything? They just let him run straight in. Oh, interesting. This is a big, big chunky match on the wall here. And I must say that the Persians, whilst um, they are being flanked to some extent, I mean... They're doing a very slow job of making the flank. Yeah, they were holding that pretty well until the flank came. And how is it going now? They're actually... No, they're not doing a good job at the gate. I thought they were, but they've given up as soon as I started speaking. So, uh, shame there. Very nice city, though. Nice set of palm trees and things. I like the general hue of the game. I mean, it's one of the things of Rome Total War. It is a lot brighter than Medieval 2. And, I don't know, that's... One of the things I kind of quite like about this is a lot brighter. I like the faction colours are... Very, very distinct, especially compared to some of the later Total Wars, but I suppose that's what you get when you have so many factions, it's just hard to really tell. Back in these days, well, I was going to say back in these days, when you're having like, I don't know, six, seven factions in this game, it's easy to tell the difference, but four of them are in brown, so um, yes, perhaps this isn't the best example for that. For some reason, they're still standing up on the walls here, as if I'm going to do anything. Might actually just let go of my uh, equipment, as if to make the point, lads, get back to the plaza, and kill the barbarians. Honestly, the best chance that the Persians have to do any real damage is a charge or two from these horses, but they've actually charged into the swordsmen. Um, they have managed to break them, actually. But yes, they uh, got involved in a little bit too long of a melee there. That might be a bit of a problem for them because they're not going to have enough to take out the rest of this. Might win against the barbarian cav. This is certainly as good a chance as they have to get a second break. No, they've, they've held back. That might have been the mistake, you know. Oh, they're just going to hold their ground. Anyway, it's not the worst thing, because these swordsmen now, the routing allies, are going to be quite close. How are you? You're eager, and they're only steady. Yeah, they might be struggling. There's there's a lot more coming in behind. Yeah, they've given up. I think at this point, i quite like Persia to do a lot of fighting on the plaza, please. Um, just, you know, whittle down my allies. Let's say we'll blood our allies. Give them some practice. One that day, they'll be as good as us. Okay, they look pretty good. 
It's quite fun watching the AI fight each other. I'm not quite sure why they're fighting so close to the plaza, but not on it. Keeps in one unit at a time. It does point out to you when you watch. I know when you watch the AI play themselves, or indeed you watch someone else play against the AI, you kind of realise how stupid they are sometimes. But hey ho, it is what it is. Um, gradually, gradually, we our allies are being whittled down. Only 11% to 43. I mean, of course, that 11% includes me, so kind of 22%. That's a pretty darn good assault, actually, considering they just went for a frontal assault. Yeah, yeah, Dahe have kind of got this, haven't they? The moment's happened, they're deciding to get off the walls, because I think, yes, Dahe are on the plaza now. Or big charge into the infantry, that's not what they wanted. The infantry have a good chance here, but not if they're going to get slammed like that. Now, the pincer will immediately rout them. Indeed, it has. Plenty, plenty more where that came from. But the AI does tend to send things in little groups drips and drabs so yeah one unit of the Bacarian horsemen and several units of well slightly damaged infantry okay they are coming from multiple sides which is pretty sensible though but again it's more cav against the infantry and I think the rest of the infantry is now heading back slightly not quite the way I was expected but yeah they're heading back to the plaza now leaving the wall in front of me empty for me to attack if I wanted to of course I don't I want to watch this so uh, I somehow, oh, here comes the dust storm, which I, I don't know that helps anyone. I feel like it helps me, the Persians. I don't know about the barbarians, though. Well, they are, yeah, they are being beaten back. This is good news indeed, of course, on the plaza. They will fight forever. The infantry have arrived. The infantry have arrived. Where are the reinforcements? Where are the horsemen? You're going to come help. Ah, the infantry's won. Very nice news. Very nice news. How are you doing? 18, so basically 36% of the barbarians are taken out. Infantry for infantry. Now these swordsmen are very, very strong in comparison. Look at those sickle men. Effective against armour. If these guys had the armour, it might be useful. They don't really. Swordsmen, again, very offensive units. These guys only have three armour, so that's basically rounded down to one at this point with those sickles and um, heavy swords and all that. So, okay. This is interesting. I mean, just come on, slam them with your horses. Are they going to throw some missiles? They're not the worst thing in the world, but doing this slightly more effectively there are the reinforcements um i mean their units are kind of still all over the place and have these guys not even entered the battlefield not sure they have you know there are my uh, chariots over there you know what yeah one clever lad here has decided not to bother entering that is uh eminently reasonable if i'm honest my good sir so what have they still got hanging around there's a few wandering up not a huge amount oh big breaks going on here the horses did decide to charge him and there are routes ahoy. Okay, we're now coming into some of the last... You know what? You know what? I should have a really good look, actually, and see what they've got left. Because I would kind of like to take advantage of the distraction. Yeah, I might as well, I might as well get to the walls whilst no one's currently there. So um, I will just start grabbing my things. So you know what? Yeah, just grab the... Actually... Yeah, one of these lads. You go over and grab that. And um, maybe go run while you're at it. We'll just go grab the walls while we have the opportunity. Whilst these guys are distracted, they'll be knackered by the time they face us. If indeed they need to face us at all. And at that point, we'll just stroll on in and take the plaza for ourselves. Oh, the general's actually gone down, which is interesting news. They are going to obviously keep fighting on the plaza. Yeah, that's basically the last um, of the really full, fresh... Yeah, eager units. Um, there's some more spearmen back here. They want to pull them off the plaza. That would suit, actually, these spearmen very nicely. Yeah, they're actually pulled the hide back off the off the plaza. There are a few men just hanging around. I don't actually know where the general is. He is, definitely hasn't got himself killed yet. So that's an interesting one. Over here, my lads. Oh, I keep forgetting with this damn bug, ladies and gents. Okay, so we, we're now up on the walls. Get yourselves over here right now. Go grab all of that. And what is left apart from the general? I mean, the general actually might be able to win this by himself at this point. Although he is he's just hanging out here. Probably knows it's best. <laughs> he probably knows it's the best place for him. Oh no, they've got the tower bug. Oh, level four tower bug in action. That's a big shame. That 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 unit there could actually be what won it for them. That's a bit bit depressing for them, isn't it? Okay, are they sending anyone over here at this point? They're not just yet, but they probably will soon. Okay, 
We're going to get our archers up here onto the walls, get our longbowmen up as well. That will be marvellous. And some of the Persian infantry because they've also got themselves lots and lots of arrows. So we've done this fairly sensibly. We've got plenty of time left on the clock, a whole 24 minutes. Probably should turn that off for siege assaults. Anything left coming from the barbarians at this point? No, there really is like nothing left. Unless the general wants to throw himself into this. Unless they can um, debug this. Which um, you can as a human with a lot of time. But uh, no, looks like they've bled themselves dry. Pretty much though just left us with what? <laughs> One and a half units to kill. I'll take it. Well, we do seem to be running out of time. We're on to four minutes now. Maybe lads um, speed it up a little bit. That would probably be good. Can we actually shoot anyone from over here? We probably should try. They're actually being fairly sensible on this occasion. Fine. You know what? We're going to get our spears. We're going to run them onto the plaza because we don't really have time for all of this nonsense. And we're just going to get our archers right into this kind of an area. That will be lovely. Okay, everyone just get forward. Good, 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 good. Right, shoot the immortals. That will be good news. Archers, you start shooting into them as well. We've got the elephants in the rear. Elephants, can we just start to maybe, yes, move across into that kind of a position? Looks like everyone who is here is now getting into battle. Don't know where you're going, but um, just kind of, where are you going, by the way? Get over there. Get over there, you utter numpties. Right, can my infantry go on to guard mode? Um, they've apparently been caught way out of position because they're utter fools. Elephants, just charge on in. Do whatever you can. That'll be fine. We've got some flanking maneuvers going on. We're losing far more than we really need to at this point because we've kind of run out of time. There we go, javelin in the back of their general. That's good news indeed. And I think at this point, yeah, we'll just we'll just start slapping them with a brick or two at this point. Yeah, get everyone on top of it. Get everyone in. Apart from the archers, you just pick off whatever you can at the back. We've got three minutes until they win. <laughs> I thought that, I'm used to Medieval 2, so normally when you have enough units on the plaza, it says that for you. But no, that's not what's happening at all. No, it's not. Okay, longbows, don't worry about anything. You just hang back at this point. We've got, was it all units on this general? We've got him now. We've actually got a unit routing, which is kind of hilarious. Um, hard to know how much I've actually lost. Seen as... Are we going to have, by the way, there is a problem sometimes with this, where if you don't kill... Yeah, if I kind of killed everyone in the plaza, I'd be then a three minute timer, but it's already counting down already, which is kind of awkward actually, because yeah, if there's someone else hanging around outside the city or around another area of the city, you could actually still end up losing, presumably. And yeah, we're going to have to kill these guys in two minutes because there's 15 of them. Um, I'll be honest, these spearmen are not good. And um, we, we've taken more caches than we needed to, considering the setup we got from our allies, but. There we are. We've clearly won with 1 minute 40 seconds until we um, actually lost. Well deserved and worthy. I mean, we let our allies die, but most importantly, most importantly, ladies and gents, A, the general's still there, and we took the city. So, ultimately, they helped, of course they did, but you know what? We both killed a few hundred of the Persians, and the job is done. Technically, I killed about 200 and they killed 900, but you know, that's a few hundred each, right? This land is ours. We're going to burn what's left of it to the ground. Hopefully, that's now not enough of them to actually think attacking me would be clever. Hopefully, this uh, works for us. Good ambusher. That's an interesting thing to bear in mind. I had not thought about that. But let's just do whatever merging we can at this point. We're not going to go anywhere right now. I might just plod Porus out with some of his elephant friends just to go and plonk oh yeah we don't have we don't have money thomas for a watchtower okay well 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 i'm a fool as it turns out so we're gonna head over to banny for the time being and work out how we're gonna make some money how are we doing by the way losing a little bit still but not too bad Interesting then, interesting. I can see over there that we've got uh, the Persian town that was under siege. It seems to have survived, which is a bit surprising. I thought they would um, win out on that particular battle. 
but you know what that's okay we're gonna send our lads ever onwards lost a few more of those javelin men than i wanted to to be honest we'll just grab pretty much the whole force few lads from this army yeah we'll just send the cav i think that will be fine you my good lad uh yes dionysus you head over there we'll send to be honest do we you know what yeah we want the longbowmen of course so we'll send those yeah we'll send the the archers over there and we'll send one persian infantry there you know what we can probably send these two scraps back towards banu and leave maybe they're not too happy about that what 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 thing am i bob are we on we might be to lower the tax rate a little bit yeah we're on high that's fine we might as well just leave the basic kind of scraps in behind and hope that that doesn't get poked so um we're not here to um upset you by the way we're here to back you up if you get attacked by the captain there which um definitely is what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to stab my eyes in the back i've already done plenty enough to stab them in the back already so we have ourselves a spy over here i mean to be honest we have yeah we'll sneak past them we'll come in this direction okay so there are more of the dahe lads over here there's kamana and to buy um okay there's an army there we'll keep a track on them but for now it's probably a simple case of ending our turn indeed persia are going to attack but they're attacking me and not these chats which is interesting i probably attacked them at least try and take them out first but hey ho so we're going to keep on fighting with our friend here this is probably where i'd uh, wish i'd left more of my friends alive but you know what it's absolutely fine they've got no general we've got some reinforcements who hopefully will bother turning up this time in the open field let's hit him right we are all now rushing forward into a new line here and what are they going to do bakirian horsemen are frightened they very much should be you know okay we're going to try and get those Bactrian cavalry over there with uh, some of these lads didn't mean to get the javelin men javelin men get yourselves in here like you're supposed to damn it infantry go on to guard there are some flaming arrows at my elephant that's not good um maybe 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 do some charging please guys maybe to do some charging like i want you to you know what uh, you guys will do that and the javelin men again I just seem to call the javelin men constantly in um, rogue orders which is slightly uh, slightly worrying now we are just charging around with, with chariots and uh, chariots and elephants over on this flank which is good fun the rest of it is just going to hold position their general has charged straight in to death as it turns out charged into his own death Looks like the our allies are mainly going to be dead at this point. Let's go and send... Oh, their general's running away as well. That's quite good fun. Oh, lovely. I was just trying to deal with these archers who were shooting at my elephants. But um, they are very much so at this point. Barbarian archers. Would have been clever of you to get behind my line because my line actually exists unlike yours. And now you're dead because the Bactrian lads are very, very much into battle. Okay. We'll pile on top of them. I suspect we'll be okay. I will just try and reorganize what is going on here. So we've got the chariots. Chariots might as well swing up. Elephants are swinging around the rear. You know what? I'm quite happy for you guys to just run over in this position. Actually, we'll just uh, keep them mopping up in the rear because it's a nice little encirclement which is accidentally happening over here. Kind of like this happy accident. Yeah, and into those immortals. Chariot seem to have largely dealt with those anyway. Okay, that's good. Let's just send my cavalry out now. Go and mop things up, my good sirs. Mop things up. Chariots, are you going to go and deal with those heavy Bactrian lads or not? That was literally the one job you had. Um, elephants, swing back up. Let's just mop up what we've got. I don't mind about some of these running off at this point. It's not the end of the world. Let's just make sure we don't lose more than we need to. Missiles at this point stop and just go wander off to the hill over there just make sure you're not doing anything you don't need to be and yeah looks like it's annihilation nation for the persians at this point um no real reason for that rhyme other than it's a rhyme and i like to rhyme all the time so down the hill we go charge them kill them stab them all of that kind of nonsense yeah the battle's pretty much done Fair play to what remains of my allies. They are indeed trying to get into battle, even though there's only, what, 41 of them left. Just join my side, lads. It's better with us.
it's much, much better indeed. They probably could do with a better tan, though. You're going to be uh, struggling down where we live. Okay, so a big pile of kills this time. A few for our allies, mostly dead. Some more of them are alive, apparently. They probably just routed. But yeah, very, very few Persians. Good news! It looks like we have ourselves only 1,300 loss each turn now. Confident commander, that's good to see. He's up to four experience. Very nice indeed. 34 years old. Now we are, hmm, we are not the, um, yeah, the biggest pile of troops, are we? We've got to be a little bit careful with what we're doing here because our army is getting slowly, slowly depleted and we're going to run out of money if we're not careful as well. So what do we want to do? I send you out of here, low tax rate. Can we manage any other way of stretching some of these troops along? You down to low. Honestly, such a small amount of troops. Oh, we can just about do it. That's good to know. Uh, very good to know. Now, is that going to be a stupid idea? We could actually, these are wooden walls. We can just walk in. Oh, that's what you want to see. I'm going to try the spy. And we've got the spy as well. 24% chance. Oh, you're in my way, my good sir. Um, okay, we can make it. We're going to have to send the cab first. That is fine. We've got it under siege. There we go. Okay. So we've managed to make it. Can we send the general? He's not going to make it, but he might as well follow us up. You can move in this direction, my good sir. Good old Dionysus. Okay, so it looks like a new family member has joined what was left of that army. And he can join us for another siege. How marvellous. So we should probably just head in immediately, to be honest. It looks like the auto result will be pretty friendly to us. Strict governor, an ignorant bureaucrat, and a survivor of many, many plots. Well, he has to deal with the elephants now. I'm pretty sure their tusks will uh, make short work of any bodyguard. Let's hit him. Let's slay him. Yes, indeed, King Porus himself is going to be the man who leads his elephant, Timmy, over to the gate. They're all called Timmy, by the way. This guy's got by station. What are you doing? Where are you going? I hope he doesn't get hurt by friendly fire here. Stop attacking Timmy. Anyway, so Porus is uh, going to enter this gate. Over. You're still in the way. He doesn't really know how to, like, elephant. This is why this is the uh, the king's elephant right here. I don't know what's happened to this lad, but if you want to name him in the comments, you can give that madman a name of sorts. Oh, lovely. The other elephant unit has opened the gates over here. The Yes, our friends are now going to run over here. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, I did think they might do that as soon as I opened one up. I was going to open up yours anyway, but, you know, it's fine. We'll run over here. We'll just walk in and... Uh, Make things slightly awkward for the AI. They can figure out how to deal with us soon enough. Fine, we'll get our lads moving forward. These elephants also seem to be getting slightly in the way. Um, I don't know what happened to these guys. I think we must have shot them with arrows. But um, did we kill these guys? Maybe there was a battle over here and I just missed it. Yeah, it does look awfully like there might have been. You know what, it's fine. Our elephants will just hang out over here and it uh, looks like they've mainly retreated to the plaza. Our allies once again going to kill themselves before we have an opportunity to help them out. It's a bit of a shame for them. Our elephants are going to shoot down their car Dakes, which um, they, they haven't got javelins, have they? They're just basic terrible spearmen, I think. Are they actually going to run out? Are they just going to stand here and get shot? I think they're going to pick the old stand here and get shot option. Oh, that would be lovely. So we're going to go and uh, run over the lasses over here. Oh, they don't want to be shot. That's rude. Get yourself shot in the back, my good lads. There we go. Right, once this general wants to actually get in over here, he's coming to join us. That's interesting. Um, our lads are maybe going to struggle over here. I'm not really sure how well they're... Don't, don't... Oh, he's dead! Yay! I, I don't even know how he managed that barbarian spear and apparently took him out. That's good news. Uh, their general's just running all the way around. Interesting pathfinding choices here for the AI. Um, interesting indeed. Right, it looks like they're... Right, I can't do anything to help you if you're going to do that, my good sir. I'd quite like to sort of slowly plod up to the plaza, but you're pretty much just throwing your life away here. I will get the elephants a bit closer for a bit of, like, arrow support, but... Yeah, down goes Steve. Steve is dead. Long live foolish Steve. So, uh, elephants, 
we'll just let them do a bit of shooting. This one is running into the wall as well. They do some javelin, so I, don't, I do want to keep my uh, my elephants away if at all possible. Right, looks like the uh, AI have done pretty much as much as they can to get themselves killed. Time for me to send in my lads. Marvellously, my longbowmen can hit their cavalry from all the way back here, which is marvellous news. Oh, just brilliant. So yes, over the roofs we go, and stabby, stabby, that one actually missed, unfortunately. Do they know where they want to go to take us on? I'm not sure they do. I don't think these lads will quite have the range, which is unfortunate, but you know what? It's fine. We'll, um, we'll at least get these infantry over here. And we'll just uh, block up those streets. We are, though, going to have attempts to come around this way where it's a bit straighter and get a nice good shot. At this point, it is a very simple affair, if I'm honest. And it looks like my elephants are, um, yes, going to have teased them enough to pull them in for the old smash of Rue. Might lose an elephant here if we're unlucky, but yeah, they are not happy about facing us. Uh, good old Tusky in the side of a horse doesn't really do them any good. And that officially is victory. You know what? will show some mercy once again once again our allies are brutally murdered while we just mop them up lovely stuff oh yes and with that not an awful lot of smashing actually i was hoping for more but there are more of our friends along the way now i don't know if diplomacy works in the same as medieval 2 but certainly fighting alongside your allies does massive amounts for your reputation and your diplomacy on medieval 2 so hopefully it does something on this game it probably doesn't but you know we can only hope 75 percent that's as i was going to say that's about as good a chance you'll get to actually increase your um your ability but there we are okay well we're just going to have to work with one i was trying to get you up to at least like two subterfuge but uh nope no subterfuge for you fine um, at this point, are we actually going to gain some money? Still no. Still no. Okay, we've got a few towns now, up to four. Not too shabby. As far as I'm aware, there should be a stack over here. And then we've got two and, so we've got two and a half stacks or so. And the rest is going to be empty cities. So, okay, interesting. Nothing. Oh, civilian diplomat. I actually was trying to find some of the others. Not that I won't be able to get much use out of them, but it's interesting to... Uh, have an attempt to speak to them anyway i'm not sure well i might be able to like sell some map information that might be a way of making money good news amy's successor has arrived and uh she's had an epiphany she's alive again so amy is back with us which is good news indeed i think to be honest she probably would be 26 by now so let's just pretend that that is her okay so 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 general over here we could use this as an opportunity to blood in our lads. Attack an ally. No, 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 no. Attack the rebels. Okay. So they're unfortunately um, not going to be in this fight. Now, this army. Okay, some Persian Peltas and Zoroaster himself. Oh, very nice. Okay, we could use a bit of practice and blood in these units who are pretty basic, but hopefully they'll just stand and get themselves shot. So uh, we're going to give them a poke. See if we can get some training done. Clear enough victory, but sadly no experience. What is this Dionysus? You failed us. Well, I can certainly say it's a good time for us to be backstabbed because we have just left Bactria pretty much empty. But it does have itself mined. mind. It's a pretty decent place, all things considered. It'd be nice to be able to train some units, and indeed we can actually get some half-decent troops out of there. So not the worst place in the world to have. What I really would like is to be able to get some units, even just like two, that I could send around to Pura. That might have been a, a good plan had I thought of it, but I did not. So I guess it's time to end our turn and see what happens. And we have managed to find the Scythians. We'll offer trade rights, because why ever not? We'll offer them some of our map information. And we're going to try and actually get 2,000 from them. We'll just see what the game thinks it is worth. They have nothing to offer. They are obviously very, very bankrupt. That's a shame. We can see, though, that there's more armies. So many more armies. Okay. This isn't necessarily going to get easy before it gets harder, is it? New turn, and we can see Ektbana and Tabai are pretty darn empty. And we've still got the same down here in Kamana and Persepolis. So plenty of empty, empty regions over in this part of the world. Now, 
Oh, I'm so close to being able to reach the next city as well. So yes, Keta is not too well defended. You know what? No real merging to do. We'll bring Amy along with us. This time maybe we won't throw her straight into the fight. What we will do though is send, yeah, just some of our infantry along with us. Good news indeed. And we're just gonna go up to the mountains here. Just take a step into their territory. And you, my good sir, can just uh, hang out there, Dionysus. That would be a lovely time. Uh, plenty of units to hire. Lots and lots of different Eastern mercenaries, for whatever reason. Two experience, one experience, zero experience. Interesting. Two experience might actually hold for about seven seconds if they were lucky. So we'll, um, we won't be hiring them anytime soon. In terms of our finances, well, it would certainly help if we could put the tax rate... Um, not really an option. I think our best opportunity here is just to keep on doing smashing grabs. I mean, this does have a full stack, but we can smash this before they get an opportunity to take us on. We will beat them in the field anyway, so we'll just have to see uh, what they're going to throw at us, really. Interesting, we have ourselves a new lad, a fairly unpronounceable chap, and okay, he's just come into the capital by the looks of it. All right, so you, my good sir, you can go on a sneak mission down to Pura, which yeah, empty. <laughs> I was going to say he can knock out that general by himself, but no, the general has indeed knocked his own block off. He is 60 at this point, so uh, or when we scouted him out, he was 60. So, uh, yes, he's very much kicked the old metaphorical bucket. Find Keta then, we'll head into here. Just one general. Our spy at the moment... Okay, still very little going on. That's actually a rebel army over there. That's interesting. Doesn't look like there's anything reinforcing Pura right now. So we'll just keep you over here. Keep an eye on what's going on. There was... This guy's pretty more useful as a scout because there was that army over here. Where, oh, there he is. Hello, I can see you, my good sir. The quickest of proposals. Become my protectorate, please. Yeah. I just thought we'd try... Let's let's not do that in future. Right, we'll just use the old trick there to keep an eye on him. Hopefully we'll know where he is next turn. Tiny bit concerned about Siles over there. Presumably he's coming to help this siege, which they keep on failing. Which, to be honest, in many ways... Yes, the town of Chad over there, we need to just be... Just wary. I want that to hold out for as long as it can, but I'm just a bit concerned that they might stab me in the back. We've done quite a lot of battles together, so hopefully we'll be friends... Fine, okay, 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 this guy is nothing particularly of interest, let it in. As ever it were, Porus himself is going to head forward to take down the gate this time, no one's going to distract Timmy the Elephant as he makes his way to the gate. Good, good, good boys, you've learnt your lesson now, well done. So, um, I like the fact that it's on the Mayhem music, <laughs> we're just battering down a gate, it's lovely stuff. But, um, but to be honest, this is pretty much a simple affair of shooting them down with the elephants. And if they want to engage us, they'll just get themselves completely annihilated. So we're going to move ourselves forward, and that should be it. Oh, indeed, they are going to come forward. They are being teased by the elephants, um, who are somewhat orderly in making their way into the city. I think, to be honest, if they're going to be shooting, we might as well start shooting ourselves and start charging ourselves because we're going to do much better by charging. Indeed, they're actually an awful lot weaker to missiles than we are, so the missile game very much works in our favour. But... <laughs> oh, I love it. They're running away. The battle's already over. But no, I think it's only fair when it's a general to shoot him down like the coward he is. Was it ever in doubt? A predictably simple victory, as you might well expect, but importantly, it's another town to burn to the ground, which, again, is kind of short-term economist work, but, um, you know what, we'll just have to do it that way. That's pretty much the only way we can do it. As for this army over here, I'm very intrigued to see what they want to do about all this. I'm pretty certain we can... OK, we'll just leave those four chariots in there. Are they going to be happy... I wouldn't be happy with that, to be honest. Okay, fine. We'll leave a few behind. You know what? We'll leave those 50. We'll leave those 50. That'll be absolutely grand. And we'll just plod forward. We'll just see if we can tease them forward on the end turn. It's a new turn. And with that, very little happening, actually. Very little indeed. I don't see too much other than the two big stacks here, who uh, definitely is a lot, actually. Okay. If we're going to go take this and not get stabbed in the back, 
We probably need to do it right now. Do we want to do it right now? When we've got two more armies coming in. Possibly. This is a bit of an awkward one now. Okay, so he can make it and take Pera next turn. That is simple enough. There's no one in there at all. Our spy knows that there's nothing down here in Pera and Persepolis. They just have a single unit garrison. Tabai and whatever this one is over here. I X Barna, of course. That one doesn't have anything in it, but there are one and a half stacks here. We can take that out. We might be better off. There's only four turns. See, I'd actually I'd see to that out if we had anything resembling a second army, but we don't. I think we might be best off going to meet these head on. And if we lose one of these towns in the meantime, I guess we lose them. Oh, it's kind of hard to choose here, really. Okay, what do we do? Just sending the light cap forward to do a bit of scouting. I'm intrigued as to what exactly this army is. It does look like, okay, Immortals, the Carrion Horsemen, they actually do have some fairly decent units by the looks of it. There's a few Karakadas as well, they've got proper Mardian Archers. Okay, we might be pushing it a little bit to take that on. I think what you might do, we are going to take the risk that they go and give us the poke. I don't think they will. I don't think they will. They've sat there all this time while we've been taking all these settlements around them and they haven't come out of their city. I reckon they're going to stay there. And even if they don't, well, what are we losing? A few chariots and a few Indian spearmen. Not a huge amount. If they put it under siege, we all... There's nothing really to smash up. I say we smash it up, but there's nothing to smash. So we'll have a see about that. This army is a lot easier to kill, I would suggest, from what I can see so far. This one, oh, they have the Phrygian Mercs. Interesting. They've come from the west, haven't they? From Phrygia, presumably. Yes, indeed. Well, we did see them trekking across here. Uh, General has got a good eye on them. That's an extra army, by the way, that one we were tracking before. So there are plenty around, but I think um, Dahe should have that one dealt with under siege that's slightly concerning but um bear, something to bear in mind i suppose right well let's before we end for today then let's end our turn and see where this takes us i think though if we're gonna oh you know what you know what this wouldn't be enough to defend this it would be a waste to throw them under the bus but i could use I don't want to throw everyone into battle. We'll leave Dionysus there guarding the uh, the pass. But I wouldn't mind a few more men in this army if I can. And a few women as well for good measure. So we'll grab those. They can join up. We'll end our turn. And yes, they are shaping up to face us. So you know what? I reckon that's what we are going to do then, ladies and gents. They haven't strolled out at all. Which means per up. Presumably, no. Nope, 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 nope. Para is not quite the um, the grab that we thought it might be. Just going to move you down here then, random lad. Uh, plenty of plenty of mercs back available now. Be nice if we had some money, but we don't. We're even further in debt than we were before. Okay, Para is not as free and empty as we thought it might be, which is unfortunate. But does mean that we need to just pay a little bit more attention to what's coming in this place okay there's nothing down here but there is in Pura. we're gonna just go around we can take it we've got a unit of elephants whatever the one unit is we will beat them fine okay let's finish off today then with a battle against these lads over by the mountain looks like we should have the mountain rather than them if indeed there is one it's rome there isn't normally on rome Plenty of, well, they had the Bactrian Cavalry. Plenty of archers this time. So our advantage is presumably, uh, well, our elephants. And maybe the chariots. We have a few more chariots as well, just to cause a bit of chaos and mayhem. Let's it in. Let's take him out. Well, immediately they are just going to charge forward, which seems a little bit mad. But you know what? It's fine by me. We're just going to lay a big pile of archers on them and get the chariots to do their filthy, filthy work immediately, which is kind of exactly what they want them to do. They have lost a few, probably from friendly fire, if I'm honest, but you know what? If we can do a bit of flanking with the elephants, that's fine. Our infantry are largely there 
just to kind of um, pretend that there's a line. Oh, they have actually cleared out. Oh no, that's us. That's us winning them. Uh, that's fine. That's their chariots fleeing. That's good. I'm glad I know what colour we are. That's really helpful. Okay, so we've got ourselves plenty and plenty of elephants causing problems on the flank here, which is Amy and good old Boris. Hopefully they don't die anytime soon. That'll be lovely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. It just doesn't get old. Elephants are just the gift that keep on giving, aren't they? They're just so beautiful. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to send in the art, the uh, the infantry to uh, get themselves busy at the very least. They might as well do something with their lives. Persian infantry, Persian infantry, Persian infantry. That's fine. Uh, you guys go forward. You can stay there because you'll be shooting your arrows right now. That's fine by me. Let's get... Oh, we're not even using these elephants. They were the reserve elephants. Oh, lovely. Yes, yeah, so you guys get yourself out to the flanks, Mr. Cavalry, and you, Mr. Cavalry, as well. Elephants are doing their filthy, filthy work. Oh, yeah. I mean, the elephants, I mean, do make a big difference. I, I don't really... I want to be a little bit careful about taking on too many armies, but, of course, we are going to do a very, very good job when we're piling elephants and they are not. Can all missiles though stop at this point and maybe just turn off into that direction in the distance? Thank you very, very, very much. Don't really know who's left fighting at this point. There's just a few over there. Fine. Elephants, go and track them down. Everyone else, just get mopped up, please. There is officially victory at this point. Honestly, that battle did not live up to the anticipation I was... Well, I mean, I thought we'd win, but I thought they might at least, you know, charge our line, cause some damage. But, I mean, really, we lost a few infantry because I charged them in, but only charged them in to make sure that we had plenty of men on top of them when they decided to run away. So, there goes their general. I don't really know what happened. He just gave up out of fear. And with that, yeah, we are mopping them up. We do have some lovely light cavalry who have caught up to the battle. Some of them are medium cab actually. Yeah, these guys are a little bit heavier, but it doesn't matter. They're going to make it most of the way. Actually, they're the battery in Atlanta. We should really get on top of them if we can. Now it's too late for them. Okay, bit of a shame, but pretty much everyone else is going to be mopped up. Um, only 36 men lost. Apparently that's about 3%. 96% of theirs dead. Well, I would say that was pretty decisive. And with that, then we can just give ourselves one extra unit of archers. Uh, low attacks rate, I suppose. We've got a full stack over here. We'll keep on moving forward just to uh, pull them into us. Porus, by the way, if in case you're wondering, he's now a butcher. Oh, very nice. He has done quite a bit of looting, to be fair. And he has burnt down every town he's come across. Yeah, he's a good defender. Interesting. All the same. Bloody... That's currently good, but I'm not sure that's going to be good forever. Oh, Dahe Mounted Archers. Never saw these come up last time in beautiful, beautiful purple. Oh, I want some of those. Hopefully we get some horse archers. And we have some money again, but I don't know when that will be, ladies and gentlemen. We'll try and get some money in episode three. So there is the other army. We'll just keep a close eye on them. That's marvellous. We keep an eye on those lands as well. We've gained plenty of land. We do have this kind of gaping hole with a full stack that we need to just some point deal with. And of course we do kind of have uh, the fact that, well if we can't see them they can't see us. That's how this works, right? Probably. Um, we hopefully just going to sneak past Perra and good old unpronounceable over here. He can uh, head over to the next city and head over to Kamana and hopefully walk in there next time. But for now, I think this is a good place to leave it, ladies and gents. We are bulldozing their way through, but it's not without um, not without its awkwardness, I would suggest, this campaign. We've got quite a bit we need to um, outmanoeuvre, I would suggest. But we do seem to be doing a good job of it so far. But we only really had the one army, and with uh, minus 10,000, we're not going to have anything anytime soon. So um, we'll see how that goes next time. But for now, I'll leave you. I'm Thomas. This is Tenerst to Human. This has been our indie campaign on Rome Total Wars. Alexander, thank you. And bye-bye. Shoot the flames of death into their eyes. Oh no, we're going to die. Coward, 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 coward. Stop, sir. You're supposed to die. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Our ballistas can actually shoot our own gates. Okay, let's get on with this battle. Run away.